An estimated 3.3 million adults in the U.S. suffer from Barrett's esophagus, a condition affecting the lining of the esophagus. Left untreated, it's the most important risk factor for development of esophageal cancer. That's why early diagnosis and treatment are so crucial. Dr. Brent Keller of Southeast Gastroenterology has more. I think the most important thing about Barrett's is to remember that it is a precancerous condition that arises from a very common problem called gastroesophageal reflux disease or chronic indigestion. You feel like you've had this for a significant period of time, it may be important to talk to your primary provider about getting screened for Barrett's esophagus. I take a camera and look down into your esophagus, into the stomach, and into the small intestine. When I examine the esophagus looking for Barrett's, the Barrett's mucosa or skin is more red than the normal esophageal skin. Barrett's esophagus is treated two different ways, really. One is with proton pump inhibitor. We use these a lot for chronic reflux disease. Another way to treat it, if you have dysplasia, those changes in the cells I mentioned earlier, you may need something called radiofrequency ablation. I take an upper scope down into your esophagus and alongside the scope, uh, there is a balloon with some electrodes on it that will provide radiofrequency energy to the end of your esophagus. This will kill the abnormal cells and then normal cells will regrow. Southeast Health is the only place in the region that has radiofrequency ablation.